It's safe to say that all eyes were on Pope Francis during his first visit to the United States of America, and that's thanks in large part to networks like CBS. Scott Pelley is heading their coverage. We caught up with him in New York City, where in less than two days, Pope Francis addressed the UN, visited a school in East Harlem, prayed with priests and religious from the archdiocese, and with representatives of the world's religions, all capped off by an unforgettable mass at Madison Square Garden. When we had a chance to speak to the Holy Father at the Vatican briefly a couple of weeks ago, we asked him, well, what's your goal for your trip to America? And he said, I want to meet the people. I just want to meet them. Well, he has certainly done that, gone out of his way to shake hands, bless people, talk to people, and I think the country has just been thrilled, not just Catholics, but people across the religious spectrum, even non-believers, love the message that he has brought. It's fair to say that the mainstream media has caught Pope Francis fever. But is it just the typical celebrity craze? No, he's more than that. He's a moral leader. He's a spiritual leader. He has come with a very strong political message. He's called really with a, a call to action. And that's why CBS News has immersed itself into this story. They, like other networks, have been doing wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the Pope's visit, including broadcasting the masses and prayer services. We had a lot of logistical planning. I don't think you can plan for the kinds of things that we've seen. We knew this was going to be big. We did not know that this would touch such a nerve with the country. Uh, and that's been on plain view everywhere he's gone. He has found reason to bring a humility to the papacy that we have not seen before. And I think in this world, this commercial world, this media-driven world that we all live in, I think that is a refreshing view on principles and values, and people really appreciate that in him. It's true that the media covered previous Pope's visits to the U.S. in a big way. Who could forget John Paul II's trips in 93 and 95? Do not be afraid. Or Pope Benedict's in 2008. But there's something different about covering Francis, and there's an expectation that this visit will have a unique and lasting impact. Really, the message that the Pope has brought to the United States is one that I think will be embraced by certainly political leaders, but also by people across the country. They've been moved, our ratings are up, people are watching, they're engaged, and he's just so captivating, you can't help but to watch and, and hopefully take in some of the really important, profound messages he's bringing with him. Most of the time, Sebastian, we're doing things on the air because something terrible has happened or there's some crisis somewhere. It's 90% of what we do. It has been so much fun to spread the Holy Father's message, to see the happy crowds, to see the energy that he gets back from the crowds when he's with young people in particular. Uh, it's just been a joy uh, to write about and to cover and to watch.